Hey, what's up guys? I'm Rustin from RustinFromRustinFortech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Now in this video, we're going to set up our Raspberry Pi 4 Model B 4 gigabyte version to be a programming powerhouse. We're going to install VB code on our Raspberry Pi 4 and we're also going to install Node.js. Now I'm going to give you a backstory about myself. I love programming. I'm currently going to college to finish my BS in computer science and I do programming for fun. It's, it's great. Now I've been using Visual Studio Code for a very long time. It's my favorite code editor. It's one of the more popular ones out there. When I found out that you could install a VB code on a Raspberry Pi, I almost lost it. Like it was a while back, but back then uh, Raspberry Pis only had one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, now with the new Raspberry Pi 4, there's a four gigabyte of RAM version, which is like 70 something bucks highly, highly worth it. So basically we're gonna install it on the Raspberry Pi 4 right now. So I can't wait. The first thing we're gonna need to do is, you're gonna navigate to these links in the description, these two links. The first link is called, uh, it's pimplifeup.com. And the second one is Node.js. This, uh, this is a W3 schools link. Both these links will be in the description. So let's start off with the first tab. We're gonna scroll all the way down here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to where the code is. And it's pretty simple. It's like two lines of code that we're gonna copy. It's these two lines right here, under this right here, where it says installing Visual Studio Code. So make sure you have a terminal open. I have one open up on the right here. And make sure you have internet connected to your Raspberry Pi. So copy the first line of code, paste it onto the Raspberry Pi, and it should start the installation process. It should take about five minutes to install. All right, so mine's is finished installing. Now we're gonna copy the second link here. Copy the second link or the second command right here. And it should start installing something else. So again, give it like five minutes to install and I'll be right back once it's finished installing. All right, so now it's finished installing. We literally have VB code installed on our Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna scroll, so now we're gonna scroll down here. I'm gonna scroll down, it shows you where you can open up VB code. It's basically in the menus, then accessories, then code dash OSS. So we're gonna do that right now. Let's just minimize this here minimize it let us open up this here go to accessories now click on code hyphen OSS that's VB code and it, if it runs that means we installed it successfully all right it's loading pretty cool really really fast actually pretty snappy so now that we have this installed let's just close it and now we're gonna install something called Node.js. You guys don't know, Node.js is basically a runtime environment that allow you to run JavaScript on anywhere else other than the browser. Before Node.js, you had to run JavaScript code on a browser. With Node.js, you could run it anywhere other than the browser. So it's pretty cool, very powerful. So we're gonna keep our terminal open. We're gonna open up our tab here and uh, we're gonna navigate to the second tab where it says uh, W3Schools Node.js. Uh, installation page here and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and there's basically a few lines of code here that we all we're gonna need um, as you can see it says install node.js on Raspberry Pi these few lines of code right here they're recommended that you, you uh, run these two lines of code first but I'm not gonna do it because I already did that uh, all it's basically doing is just updating your Raspberry Pi you don't need to do it uh, you can do it. It's recommended that you update your Raspberry Pi first before you install Node.js, but I'm going to skip that part. I'm going to copy this first line of code right here from curl to the end of here. Copy it. We're going to paste it. All right. Bam. Hit enter. Once that's finished, we're going to copy the second line of code here from sudo to the end here where it says Node.js. Copy that. Paste it. Hit enter. All right, so we're finished installing Node.js. So now we're gonna test whether or not it worked properly to do that. So now we're gonna type in node, hit space, hyphen V, hit enter. And if it gave us back a version, that means node was successfully installed. If it didn't give us back a version, that means you have to try and install it again. You might've had a typo in your code. My version is 10.15.2. So once that's finished, we're gonna close our terminal. We're gonna close our browser here, or I'm just gonna minimize mine. And we're going to open up Visual Studio Code now, and we're gonna run some JavaScript. We're gonna test it out to make sure it works. So click on this Raspberry Pi icon here, scroll down to accessories, 
click on code hyphen OSS, that's Visual Studio Code. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a file. So click on file here, click on new file, and click on file, and then click on save as, right? I'm gonna save mine in the desktop. I already have a test here, I was testing this out earlier. So I'm gonna call this one here. I'm gonna call it uh, pi.js. Whenever you're creating a, a JavaScript file, make sure you end it with a .js. And mine's I'm saving in the desktop. So after that's done, hit enter. Now we can do some coding, the fun part. So I'm gonna do a simple code. It's gonna be a console.log, just to test out if it prints out onto the terminal. So before we start the code, let's click on terminal, new terminal. Now, we, after we do that, we're gonna type in ls to see where we're located right now. I saved my file in the desktop, by the way. So I'm gonna do a cd, uh, cd is change directory, hit space. I did capital D E S T O P des desktop. I, I have my file stored in desktop. Navigate to wherever you saved your file. I'm gonna hit enter. Oops, cd desktop. Now I'm gonna type in ls or pwd print working directory. It'll show us what directory we're in right now with the, the entire hierarchy and, and the file structure. So, so as you can see, we're in the desktop. We're gonna type in ls. ls basically lists everything in this directory. So now we have two files. I created a test file and we just created pi.js. So what we're gonna do now is um, now we could start coding. So we're in the right directory. We see our file. Now let's go back up here and start coding. We're gonna do a simple console.log. So type in console.log, right? We're gonna do an open close parentheses and then with a semicolon. In between the open and close parentheses, we're gonna have an open quote and a closing quote, right? In between the open and close quotes, we're going to type in whatever we want. I'm just going to type in hello, hit space world. You know, everybody does a hello world to test out whether or not something is working. So it's a hello world. And we're going to type in control S to save. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here where the terminal is. And we're going to type in node, an ODE, hit space. And then we're going to type in the file we created. Mine says pi, so pi.js. I'm gonna hit enter. As you can see, it printed on the terminal, hello world. That means everything is working. Node.js was installed successfully. If Node.js wasn't installed successfully, this wouldn't have worked. So really cool. I, I'm really impressed. To be honest with you, um, I run uh, Node.js on my uh, Windows computer. My Windows computer is a pretty, pretty expensive computer. It's got a eight core Intel. It's got a, it's got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. It's got a really fast SSD. I got a good graphics card. Right now, comparing it to my computer, it's it's pretty much similar speed, if not the same speed. I'm not noticing any like lag or anything like that. I'm really impressed. So basically this, this video, I wanted to make this video for anybody out there that wanted to get into programming, but they can't afford to get a computer. Right now, what we're doing is we're coding on a Raspberry Pi 4, four gigabyte version, which is like 70 something dollars, a $70 computer that you could start coding with. It, it doesn't bring the bank. And a lot of people can afford to buy a $70 computer. All you would need is the keyboard and mouse and a display and an internet connection and you're good to go. You can pretty much do any type of coding with it. Highly recommended. I, I'm impressed right now. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from Osprey Tech.com and thank you guys for watching.